I wanted to express like women's desires through male and male body. So I want people to see its new vision of male's beauty and also at the same time new vision of like women's desire. So hi, so lovely to meet you and thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me on Zoom today. Hi, thank you. I'm thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So for those who don't necessarily aren't familiar with you or your brand, let's start from the beginning and talk a little bit about you and your work and where it all began. So how would you yeah. kind of best describe your brand to someone who doesn't know you? I want to describe my brand as a menswear brand expressed mm -hmm. with female gaze because I wanted to express like women's desires through male and male body. So I want people to see its new vision of male's beauty and also at the same time, new vision of like women's desire. And then so people can feel freedom with my garments, my pieces. Gorgeous. And what was it about menswear that you liked specifically? Actually, I really love like suit garments because I feel like suit is most strong garments to represent masculinity. Mm -hmm. So for my female collection, I used a suit as a base to express like masculine and male. And then I used a cutout on the suit. So underneath of the suits, there is a like beading with my line drawings to express like woman's desire. So it was combination with my emotion and also at the same time showing male's beauty of my vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you mentioned line drawing and I know that kind of that whole hand drawing and line drawing is something that's quite important to your design yes where did, where did that start when did you begin oh actually there was line drawing was my inspired my line drawing when i entered a life drawing class so it was a like nude croquis of my line drawing very free hand lighting line drawing because i'm from korea like which has very conservative culture so like women's desires perceived as like abnormal and taboo but since I moved to New York I realized that I have an interest in like subject of sex and desire mm -hmm. so most big influence was that like life drawing class so when I draw a nude male body I feel like I'm breaking free from my Korean culture always I've known so I want to express my desire and imagination with my line drawing when I and then when I draw a nude male body so when I uh, develop my collection, I collect all my line drawing with my nude male croquis. So that's why the line drawing was really important. Let's talk a little bit about the design specifically, because there's such an interesting masculine and feminine tension in everything that you do, particularly with the exposed skin and the shift and the beading, some of which you're wearing now. Um, talk to me a little bit about that process and how that works. Mm, yeah, actually from that process with the cutout suiting, when I developed that collection, it was kind of hard for me when I developed the silhouette because I already had a concept and then textile and then idea, but it was kind of hard to develop my line drawing into silhouettes mm -hmm. because it was very organic and then I need to translate in menswear. And then finally, I got that silhouette cut out. It was inspired by my line drawings and I use really big cutouts on the suit. And then I use the cutting technique mm -hmm. to show the lines on the body. And then underneath of the cutout suit, it was exposing my skin. And at the same time, my line drawing. And then I wanted to show some combination with balance with the revealing body parts. And also at the same time, showing my textile because it's my emotion and everything so yeah and then I think I really love that tension with masculine and then the feminine because I think when they mix together I think it creates something new like vibe and then new atmosphere and then I feel like that is really beautiful and then I really love to create that kind of vibe with meeting the feminine and masculinity. And thinking about that, who would you like to see wear your garments or what kind of mm. vibe would you like to give off? Because they're, they're quite unique and I think it's quite bold to have exposed flesh and, yeah. and they're beautiful, almost artwork pieces, but who, <laughs> who would you like to be? I want to people who want to express themselves 
and they who has a confidence of themselves and then also who want to have some confidence of themselves because all people has different style and then their own beauty and then I want to people knows about that and then I want people uh, try to show themselves don't hide their identity because I feel like I kind of hide my identity when I was in back in Korea and then I feel like I really became free and then it's true myself when I express my real like, interest and then what I like. So I want people who wear that. And then it, it does not need to be men. It can be male and the woman or something. Others, every pe- I think all people can wear it. Yeah. What kind of thing can we expect? What would you say your signatures are? Because for me, I would say tailoring gorgeous suiting Mm -hmm. and uh, lovely cutouts but is that a signature you're going to keep exploring I want to my signature is like really beautiful cutouts and then like organic line cutting because that lines are from my my vision and then the line is the only that I can create so I think that kind of really delicate uh, details and yeah I want to my signature can be like details and then cutouts and also textiles but I think I still need to develop for textiles because that female guest collection was for graduate collection. So it was really all handmade. Mm-hmm. But when I think about like industry part, it's kind of hard to produce all handmade. So I think I need to think about more about textile part. But I really love to make with my hand, my, it's my hands. So I think I'm going to keep to that kind of textile. As much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it was so lovely to speak to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hope to see more of your work soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> thank you.